morning. My name is uh, Dr. K. N. P. Prasad. I am a professor in this uh, department, department of IEM. And uh, today we shall discuss about conducting the experiment uh, called pressure gauge uh, calibration. So the name of the experiment is pressure gauge calibration. And uh, aim is to calibrate the given uh, uh, pressure gauge. So the apparatus that we are using here is the pressure gauge and uh, the standard weights. So pressure is basically defined as the load divided by area. It is measured in newtons per uh, uh, meter square. So now this is the setup. So this is uh, the experimental uh, setup. So we have got uh, what you call uh, an oil tank, so which will be <coughs> operating in the piston and cylinder arrangement inside. So pressure cannot be measured directly by any uh, instrument like scale or vernier caliber or micrometer. It has to be measured indirectly. So we are using here the Bordon pressure gauge. This is uh, the pressure measuring device. So now when the weight is uh, acting on a particular area, so we are supposed to know what is the pressure that the weight is exerting on the unit area. So here, this is the experimental setup. Here we are going to apply the load and then we are pumping uh, the <coughs> oil tank. So then it is going to withstand. So whatever uh, the uh, pressure that the weight has applied, so now that will be displayed over here. There will be a relief wall here. There will be a relief wall here. So as and when uh, the pressure exerted by the piston, it will withstand the pressure exerted by the weight and on exceeding that pressure, the oil will be what you call coming out of the cylinder like this. So there will be a collection pan will be there and oil will be coming out of that uh, pressure relief form. So then whatever the pressure that the weight has been applied over the, this is called as a plunger. So whatever the load that has been applied over this uh, area of this plunger, so will be reflected by the pressure gauge. So now this is the, we will explain how uh, the exper experiment is to be conducted. So this is the tabular column. This is the tabular column, so serial number, actual pressure. So we are using standard weights here. So where uh, each and every weight is equal to 180 a so that is called as 1 kg per centimeter square it will be converted into newton per uh, meter square now against the applied load of 180a so then this will be 98.1 <coughs> uh, newton per meter square so what is the indicated pressure as i told you in this experiment whatever the load that we have applied will be balanced by the oil here and that pressure that has been exerted on the oil will be supplied to this burden pressure gauge and the needle will move and then indicates what is the pressure that has been applied by the standard weight. That is the calibration that we are carrying out here. So now in this uh, experiment, so we have applied the standard weight of 1 kg force per uh, centimeter square and then what is the pressure that is indicated by the board on pressure gauge that we are find, trying to find out. Now let us say it has been about 96.7, uh, sorry, here it is 96.7 Newton per meter square and then the error will be actual pressure minus, this is the actual pressure, actual pressure minus the indicated pressure is the amount of error with respect to the applied pressure of known <coughs> weight and then the indicated pressure by the board on pressure gauge. Now the percentage error is calculated as actual pressure minus the indicated pressure divided by the actual pressure multiplied by 100. Now with respect to this we are going to draw the graphs like this. So first one is indicated pressure again as the actual pressure. So always the standard will be on the x-axis and the variable will be on the y-axis. So now uh, again is the indicated pressure because we know uh, in this experiment we know the actual uh, uh, pressure that has been applied and again is the supplied actual pressure what is the indicated pressure this is called as the calibration curve now in practicality we will not be knowing what is the actual uh, pressure so therefore in order to find out what is the actual value of the pressure that has been applied 
So we take the horizontal line like this and we'll drop it uh, to the x axis. So where we will find what is the actual value of the indicated <coughs> pressure. So that is called as this thing. And now if we want to find out what is the percentage error with respect to the actual pressure that has been measured. So we will be drawing a graph of percentage error versus the actual pressure. So <coughs> when we uh, know what is the actual pressure, we are supposed to take what is the percentage of error that it has to be added. So in the experiment, if we know uh, this is called as uh, the percentage error graph. So this is the amount of percentage error that is present in the equipment. So for the actual pressure of uh, let us say uh, <coughs> 10 Newton per uh, meter square, then what is the amount of uh, percentage error that you must add up in order to get the real value of the distance. So or the indicated uh, value. So this is about the experiment. So where we will be conducting the experiment against the actual pressure. We find out the indicated uh, pressure and then we are going to uh, draw if this is uh, uh, 0.96. So this is the indicated uh, pressure by the Bodan pressure gauge and then we are trying to find out the error and then the percentage error and with these two we are going to draw the graph of this one to <coughs> find out what is the <coughs> calibration curve for the given pressure gauge. This is the experiment that we are supposed to conduct here and this is what you are supposed to learn in carrying out the <coughs> calibration of the pressure gauge. Thank you. Now we are going to conduct an experiment on pressure gauge. What is this pressure gauge? Pressure is nothing but force acting on the unit area. The force is hydraulic force here happening on the unit area. What is the area? This diameter is the unit area of the system. First uh, we should know uh, what all are the observations should be taken and uh, what is this uh, type of uh, pressure gauge we have. So here we have a bottom tube pressure gauge. So uh, whenever a uh, pressure occurs here and bottom tube will uh, uh, pull your ratchet and the reading will come here. Here we have a kg per centimeter square and a uh, pound per inch square. Two scales are given here. So he is telling symbolically kg per centimeter square, the outer scale reading is kg per centimeter square and inner is uh, inches per, uh, sorry, uh, pound per inch square he is given on here. So how to find this? So the force acting on this uh, unit area of diameter has to be taken. So they symbolically mentioned here 180A. What is 180A? 180A is nothing but 1 kg per centimeter. So what uh, the systems we have means we have a cylinder. This cylinder is filled with the oil. This oil, uh, I am going to lock this uh, hydraulic wall. So I am just locking this hydraulic wall. So whenever you give a pressure to your cylinder, whenever cylinder is pressurized by giving a pressure system, so you can see this, a pressure is going to push your uh, plunger and your weight will be lifted. The amount of uh, pressure required to lift this area is mentioned here. The actual weight applying on here is 1 area, 1 kg per centimeter square here. And what is the measured reading? Here it's mentioned 0.9 kg per centimeter square. So actually we applied 1 kg per centimeter square here. But in the reading it's showing 0.9 kg per centimeter square. Similarly, we have to find what is the value going to occur when you apply 2 ATA. See this? I am releasing this wall again. I am releasing this wall. This is 180 already applied here and I am going to apply one more kg per centimeter square. Now what is the actual reading here is 280. 2 kg per centimeter square already here. So now I am going to apply the load. I lock the hydraulic system. Now you can see this, it has been lifted here. So it's giving 1.9 
kg per centimeter square actually you applied 2 kg per centimeter square but it is showing in between the 1.8 to 2 see you can see this so how much for the each reading this is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1 kg per centimeter 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, 2 mm. In between the 1.8 and the one, uh, 2, it is there. 1.9 kg per centimeter square, it is showing. Okay? So, like that, uh, if you apply. I am releasing the wall now. If you apply 3 kg per centimeter square. This is uh, mentioned here. This is 2 ADA here. This is 2 ATA, already 1 ATA is applied on here. I am applying a 3, 3 kg per centimeter square. Now, what is, the, what is the actual value I am applying? 3 kg per centimeter square. What is the measured value we are going to take? You can see this slowly, the needle is rising in a bottom tube. Now you can see this, see it's perfectly giving a 3 kg per centimeter square here, okay. Now 3 kg is over, 3 kg per centimeter square is over, now I am going to apply 4 kg per centimeter square, 1 k 180 a is here, 280 a is there, 2 plus 1 3 and another one already applied. 480A is there. For 4 kg per centimeter square, what is the total value? I am going to take it. I have been applied. See this, 480 I applied there, 4 kg per centimeter square in bottom tube also, it's showing 4 kg per centimeter square here. Now, now I apply how much? 5, 5 kg per centimeter square I will apply. So it's already 2 here, 1 already there and 2 more ATI has to apply. This is 2 ATI available here. I'm applying 5 kg per centimeter square on here. So while you are loading and unloading the weight, you should release the hydraulic wall, otherwise the oil will spill out. Note down the readings without fail. I applied 5 kg per centimeter square here. It's showing 5 kg per centimeter square in a pattern tube. Okay. Now, if you want to apply 6 kg per centimeter square. I have a 4, 5 ATI here. 5 plus 1, how much? It is 6 kg per centimeter square. I can directly apply here. Okay. Now. Now you can see this, it is showing 6 kg per centimeter square perfectly. You applied 6 ADA here, it is nothing but 6 kg per centimeter square. Reading also showing 6 kg per centimeter square. So the, now you have noted down all the readings 1 kg per centimeter square, like this, applying a one more 2 kg per centimeter square, 3 kg per centimeter square. 4 kg per centimeter square, 5 kg per centimeter square and 6 kg per centimeter square. You noted down what is the actual weight applied on here, what is the measured value came on here. Okay. So 
Bardon tube uh, reading is the measured value and the weight applying on here is the real value of the system. Okay. So whatever the observation you require, this plunger you require. The diameter of the plunger here is 5 mm. That is what the plunger dia and this is your 180. Okay. Now if you or if, if you calculate the force per unit area, then also you will get it. Okay. So this is uh, atmospheric temperature altitude. Thank you.